Taylor Tate, you're the Special Envoy for the Child Online Protection Initiative. Tell me about your involvement with the WISIS process. Absolutely. I'm so thrilled to actually be here because it's really the ITU and Secretary General Hamadoun Touré who first really brought children to the WISIS process and to the ITU's platform, if you will, uh, because he, like many other leaders now, have recognized how important children are to this entire discussion and that as we discuss access for all, we need to especially think about access for our children. But with that access to all these incredible opportunities also come a lot of risk for our children. Well, of course, and children are using ICTs more and more at a younger age as well. Oh, absolutely. I'm, uh, every day almost I see a toddler, you know, whose parent has just handed them a smartphone for instance, and so what we have tried to do at COP is to bring partners together from all over the world in order to provide uh, uh, digital literacy, whether it's curriculum, um, videos, we have guidelines that are in all the UN languages for parents, for industry, for educators, and for youth themselves. I'm sure most of the delegates here have children. Do you think that they are sufficiently aware of the risks that are posed? I think that they're becoming more aware, and you're exactly right, because they're starting to see them firsthand. And so as our children go on, and whether they chat, Google, Snapchat, um, or crowdsource, you know, there are more and more opportunities, of course, for them to also come across some pretty dangerous, uh, you know, and often criminal illegal activities. So what we've tried to do is talk about all of these incredible opportunities, especially with education and health care for children and adults as well but of course I'm focused on children and at the same time to say but we must arm them with critical thinking skills so that when they go online just as in the offline world they are able to cope with whatever may come come their way. Do you still think there is a lot of naivety out there or do you think that uh, children and their parents are more aware of the best way to, to use these tools? Well, obviously, as children then grow up and have their own children, um, you know, my own children are getting married. And so as they start having children, um, you know, they are going to know what they faced as children. So, so they will be better parents probably than we were, because I think you're right. I think there was a lot of naivete about going online and what exactly that meant. Um, when you start thinking about the fact that there are a billion people on Facebook that your child could possibly interact with or when they go on to play a game with other people that they have no idea who the other player may be or even where they are in the world. Um, so I think that what is most important is not to block content or not to stop children from having access but it's to actually arm them at, with curriculum at schools and, and their parents of course talking to them as they can. We have many, many Many partners who are providing excellent tools and all those are available for free uh, on the ITU website. Now clearly raising awareness is, is a very important part of what you're doing. What practical input uh, are you having into the process? Well one of the most exciting things was last fall uh, the president then of Costa Rica Laura Chinchilla hosted a huge global summit. Over a thousand young people from around the world participated. So of course we were able to share that here uh, at WISIS Plus 10 with all the ministers from around the world and I have ministers coming up to me all the time saying oh can you come do one of those in our country because I think they do see the importance both of providing the access to all of their children in their particular countries, but also to arm them with the tools that they need to navigate safely and responsibly. And do you think it's an efficient process, the, the uh, interchange between private sector, between civil society and international groups such as the ITU? Uh, I think that probably John Davies said it best when he said, you know, the way that we are going to solve most of these problems is through private-public partnerships. And certainly that's what COP has embraced. And I believe that the ITU and WISIS process has as well. And so I think that we need to do much more of that, um, and especially, of course, as it relates to children. Thank you very much, Deborah Taylor. Thank you.